Hi, it's Rachel with Ascender. A quick take today on some of the topics that are top of mind for our subscribers on the platform. A reminder, we are publishing content every day on my.ascender.co. The platform is meant solely for individual salespeople and small teams. And today I wanted to bring John Kaplan on here to talk about a few of the things we've been writing and chatting about the platform to give some of you a taste of what our subscribers have access to. Hello, John. Rachel, how are you? Good, good. Uh, always happy to jump on, on here and hash out some, some topics. So first up, we're going to dive right into Medic. Uh, we just held a live session on decision process and the paper process. It was uh, run by our, our own Patty Mack. Where do you think reps most often go wrong with that decision process component of Medic? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges for reps in decision process is that they actually don't treat it like a process at all. Um, and I think one of the reasons for that is, is that they're oftentimes we're single threaded in an opportunity. And when you're single threaded with an opportunity, you're kind of beholden to that conversation with one individual and therefore it doesn't feel like a process at all. It feels like a yes, no. Are you ready to do this? Yes, no. Do we have the right people in place? Yes, no. And I think that um, when you do that, if you're single threaded today, I think if you're single threaded, I think your opportunities at risk. There's not many opportunities that I can think of out there that are not um, are not solving problems that are more collaborative in nature uh, in nature. And, and what I mean by that, there's just multiple decision makers. There's multiple things that need to be done, uh, and so very rarely. Um, is a conversation or an opportunity single threaded. So I, I kind of think that's it. We don't talk to enough people inside of accounts. We don't talk to enough people inside of opportunities. And therefore, we don't expand our thinking uh, about that process, like, like that it is a process. <laughs> It is a process. I mean, it's a simple point. Rich. I asked you yeah. the question. He's like, well, Rachel, they don't treat it like a process. I'm like, okay, yeah. over <laughs> there we go. Yes. Um, so on a sender, we have an opportunity for anybody to get medic certified with our coursework on medic. We're also publishing content regularly, short content, like the stuff we're doing here, like little videos, uh, blog articles on the components of medic to kind of keep those practices top of mind. We also have a couple of great pieces of content, a couple of podcast articles uh, on how to sell to more experienced professionals. Some of us have found ourselves in this situation definitely in our careers. The, this content is really meant for reps who may be a little greener or less experienced than the people they're, go they're going after. Yeah, um, I'll just take this time to say congratulations to you and the Ascender team. I think you're doing such a great job of you know, putting great content out there and meeting people wherever they are. So on Ascender, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a brand new rep, um, if you are an experienced rep, uh, you have a wonderful community of other folks that are uh, focused on being students of the game. And um, so again, uh, just congratulations to you. Now back to your question or comment about um, for the newer folks, <clears throat> want to give you a little spirit if you're newer to selling. Um, I think that um, in order to give yourself confidence and conviction, I think one of the things you can do is to take the pressure off yourself and not make it about yourself. I, I think the most elite sellers on the planet understand that customers want you to go outside in, not inside out. Outside in make, means make it more about the buyer and earn the right to make it about yourself. And if you just contemplate that for a second, wait a second, it doesn't have to be about me. It doesn't mean uh, it doesn't mean I have to be an expert in all things selling and all things my products and service uh, products and services. I need to be an expert in discovery questions that allow my customer to tell me about their problems and challenges. And so if I can be an expert about listening to their problems and challenges and then making myself relevant to those problems and challenges, that's kind of like the great equalizer uh, in sales. So if you are not as experienced or if you are new to sales, go outside in, 
make it about the buyer, earn the right to make it about yourself, understand their problems and challenges. You will learn more and more about that. You will learn more and more about your products and services. Map what you do for a living to somebody else's problem or challenge, and you will see that your jitters or your feelings about being inexperienced will go away really quickly. Yeah, I think you've said it before, John, nobody cares how experienced you are if you can solve their problem. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. I agree. <laughs> Great. So don't forget, you can access more, more content on these topics um, and a lot, a lot more of uh, selling best practices with our new connect plan. We just launched it. It's 120 bucks a year. It works out to about $10 a month, full content and community access. If you want to go ahead and get medic certified, we have a different plan for that. Easy to sign up. You can learn more at ascender.co. Join us there. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Go get them.